Yo, what's up guys? As you saw in the title, yes, we are talking about iOS 14 today. If you're excited to see iOS 14 betas this coming June and you don't wanna miss out on the content surrounding those betas, make sure to get subscribed and hit that bell button as well so you don't miss out on any of that upcoming content. Also, check out channel memberships. We finally have those live and you can see all the perks that come along with those along with special giveaways as well. All of that information can be found by clicking join near the subscription box down below. Okay, so back to today's video and 9to5Mac over the past few weeks has extrapolated code from a build of iOS 14 which revealed a lot of information. They found a new clips app, home screen widgets, wallpaper UI, and many other changes that are coming in this exciting update, hopefully from Apple, this coming June. We've also seen other sources confirm some of these code findings via Twitter where they have information like product manuals showing things like the home screen widgets. So with all that said, it's it's pretty safe to say that some, if not all of these new features and changes are coming to iOS 14 here in 2020. So let's check out what all of this may actually look like. Before we get started, really quickly after the video, check the links down below for an awesome company called Hawthorne. They provide a fully customizable bathroom experience and it can all be done online. So go check them out via the link down below. Okay, so first off, let's start with the widgets on the home screen. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think this is a good idea, but honestly, I love it. I just think that the current widget page off to the left in iOS 13 and previous versions has gotten a little bit old and I really don't even use it that much. So home screen widgets would be, at least for me, a great new feature in iOS 14. So the new design might actually look a lot like what we see in this video made by iSpazio, where the widgets can essentially be activated from an app on the home screen via a 3D touch menu. Now, if you look closely, this clearly shows you opening up a menu on the home screen and selecting which apps you want to have as widgets on that home screen. But one thing that it doesn't show is the ability to move the apps around the widgets freely or maybe custom controls for the widgets themselves to resize them and move them to wherever you want. So with that in mind, this concept makes a lot of sense. It looks very much like what Apple would make and while the widgets are a cool little new feature, I would like some customization abilities along with that to actually make it fit my workflow because obviously everyone's workflow is very, very different. So guys, after seeing that video and just chatting for a bit, what's your thoughts on iOS 14 widgets? Let me know in the comment section down below because I've seen a super mixed reaction on this possible new feature. Some people think it's stupid, but then others think that this is a game changer. So let me know what your opinion is in the comment section down below. Okay, so moving on and let's get into some other desperately needed UI changes. The first is a new call UI. Honestly, I've gotten so tired of calls taking up my entire screen and screwing up my workflow essentially. On top of that, you have to press the power button to get the phone call to go away completely, but then the person on the other end knows that you denied their call, so this needs to be fixed in iOS 14. Now, to put this new call UI into perspective, here's a video showing a redesigned call UI that doesn't take up too much of the screen. It's just on the bottom half, and you can see that this developer actually added an ability to add an emoji responses to phone calls, which kind of makes sense, but not really. But the baseline of the new call UI is what I'm really looking at here. So I guess my question is, bottom line, would you like to see this new call UI in iOS 14? Let me know in the comment section down below. My personal opinion is I really love this call UI and I was actually thinking that the UI coming down from the top of the screen would be cool, but if it's at the bottom for people with larger phones, it's less of a reach and way more accessible. So this implementation of the call UI is not only good looking, it does make a lot of sense in regards to the overall usability. If you think about it now, the call UI has the main controls at the bottom already, so I doubt Apple would want to move away from that. Okay, let's move on to multitasking. With phones getting so big these days, like the iPhone 11 Pro Max, it would only make sense to allow us to multitask. Honestly, one of the really cool features of Android is the ability to multitask, and I would really love to see that feature come to iOS. We currently see it on iPadOS, where on the iPad you can work on several things at once, and I don't think that hardware-wise for the iPhone, there's anything holding this feature back. I honestly just think that Apple is being really stubborn about this new feature coming to iOS. So with that said, 
Here's a video on a possible new look at multitasking on the iPhone. And in my opinion, this looks perfect. It's almost identical to the experience of the iPad and it allows you to place your multitasking apps on that bar to the right to choose from when you want to set this feature up. Plain and simple, this concept is perfect and I think Apple should do this on iOS 14. These phones are much more capable than what they currently do. So it would be nice to have features like these, like the multitasking, to really take advantage of the hardware that Apple places into their devices like the A13 Bionic chip. Okay, so those were some awesome concepts and out of the three, I'd love to know what your favorite is because I cannot choose here. I think that all of these features should definitely be coming to iOS 14. And honestly, I'd be really disappointed if they didn't. But anyways, guys, let's move on to some of the smaller features that are expected in iOS 14, starting with Car Key. Now, Car Key is a very interesting new feature that should be coming in iOS 14. Apple and BMW have collaborated in the past with a lot of CarPlay features, but Car Key is a new feature that would allow you to take your phone and essentially use it as a key on your car. Now this isn't too foreign, it's just, it just sounds weird because Apple is doing it. On my iPhone, I have the app for Tesla, like a lot of other Tesla owners. And basically what you can do is you can use your phone as a hardware key or a software key for your Tesla. In fact, a lot of Model 3 owners use their phone primarily as their key. So there's a downside and an upside to this. With Apple doing it, they're only going to be limiting it to certain brands and certain cars. Um, so that's one limit. And then the second one is, as I've experienced using my phone as a key for my car, I've actually had the Tesla server go down. They were doing an update and I couldn't drive my car for over an hour and I wasn't at home. So that is a sort of a kind of drawback to having a car key feature. If the car key feature is down or maybe it's not working, you don't have a backup because you probably left that key at home. But I'd be interested to see how Apple implements the car key feature into iOS 14. But car key is one thing that we should be seeing in iOS 14 uh, specific to um, you know certain cars at the very beginning. I think BMW is going to be one of the first brands that implement car key into their vehicles. Now, next up, we saw wallpaper UI changes, and I actually did a full video on this. And basically what we saw was the ability to choose from gradient, solid color, and traditional images. And what it actually demonstrates is you could take an image like this, and it's a solid image, really cool, really good detail, but you can make a sort of gradient style wallpaper out of that image. So that's really cool, something we've never seen from Apple before, and for those of you who love your wallpapers, this would be a really cool feature. You can also select from a solid color, so it would take this photo and basically take the most dominant color in that photo and set it as a solid color. And then of course you have your traditional image, which would be something like this. Now, the second thing was you can create your own wallpaper packs or albums. So you can take photos from your photos album, import them into basically a wallpapers album, and you can use those photos as wallpapers instead of having to go into the photos app, select, select as wallpaper and all that. So that would be really cool. And then also there was talk about wallpaper packs being created by different app developers. I'm not really a fan of that because I don't think you should have to buy wallpaper packs, but uh, let me know in the comment section down below if this new wallpaper feature sounds good. To me, I think that having that custom tool to kind of uh, create gradients and everything like that, that's really cool. But as far as the wallpaper packs and your own wallpaper albums, that's never really interested me in the past. Um, but it would be cool to kind of put all of your wallpapers into a certain section though um, in the wallpaper menu on the settings app. Now, the next two things are things that maybe won't be coming to iOS 14, but would be really cool to see in iOS 14. The first thing is OS recovery. We saw this quite a long time ago. 9to5Mac reported that OS recovery would be coming very soon. Now, what is OS recovery? OS recovery is basically the recovery tool that you have on a Mac on your iPhone. So what macOS does is you have a hard drive, let's say it has one terabyte, and a portion of that hard drive is actually reserved for OS recovery. So whether you delete everything on that hard drive or not, it will never touch the OS recovery partition. So what Apple will likely do in the future is 
they'll likely move away from the lightning port and just move to something um, totally wireless. I don't think Apple is going to move over to USB-C. They have avoided it for a very long time with a lot of pressure in the world trying to get them to do it. Apple currently is taking steps to move away from um, ports on their devices and move more towards like smart connections and wireless charging and everything like that. So things like the OS recovery tool are those steps being implemented into um, that kind of vision that they have. So OS recovery would work just as it does on the Mac. You'd have this recovery partition on your iPhone. If you run into a problem, you would likely be uh, recovering back to a version of iOS. It will likely save a full version of iOS on your phone um, so that you can recover. Let's say you were on iOS 14.2 and you had a problem. You can maybe switch back to iOS 14.1. So I think that would be a really cool feature and is a step in the right direction for getting these phones to have no ports in in the near future. Uh, now, next up is the app switcher. And we saw this before. I did a video on this and it looks a lot like iPadOS. I don't think that Apple is going to mix iPadOS UI and iOS UI. I just don't think they're in um, that game to kind of mix and match things. I think that they've confused people enough with calling the iPad not a laptop and now they're saying it's a laptop and a computer. Um, but yeah, I think that this app switcher um, UI is a little bit far-fetched. I think that Apple will be more um, likely to move towards the old UI where they had the control center and the app switcher combined into one UI. And I think that would look really cool. So hopefully that comes in the near future and hopefully we get a look, good look at uh, the kind of direction that Apple is going to in the first betas of iOS 14 coming this June. So guys, that was a ton of things to go over when it comes to what we might be seeing next with iOS 14. Let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are on these concepts based on this leak code that 9to5Mac found. I'd love to get the conversation started below. So I look forward to seeing some of your thoughts and ideas. But with that being said, if you want to take that discussion even further, there is a tech review forum on Discord where you can talk iOS 14, share cool wallpapers, and just talk about whatever we feature here on the channel. So make sure to check that out. There's a link down in the video description down below. So thank you all for watching today's video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. Also get subscribed and hit that notification bell button to get updates on when we release any future content. Also check out channel memberships. Those are now live and there are some perks in there along with like special giveaways. So you can get more info on that by just clicking the join um, button down by the subscription box, get more info there. Anyways, thank you all for watching and hopefully I'll be seeing you in some upcoming content. But until then, I hope you all have an awesome day.